Hi there, it's Dr. Abby here, helping Filipinos find their voice. Today we're going to talk about a Filipino value called Pagpapahalaga sa Pamilya, which is giving importance to the family. Filipinos have very, very high regard to their family. They often hold family as more important than anything else. In the Philippines, people work to provide for the family, not just their wife and children, but also their parents, their aunts, uncles, cousins. And it's common to hear that someone paid for their cousins or nieces or nephews to go to college, or they bought a house for their sister. Many Filipinos have their parents living at their houses even if they don't really want them to be there. This is just an accepted tradition. There are no other options. I was just watching a Filipino movie with a young lady who works as a nanny overseas to send money back to her family in the Philippines. Even though she had a bachelor's degree and really wanted to pursue her career and not be a nanny, but that was not an option. She was sad and angry as she just said, this is what I have to do, that's all. Many Filipinos live close to their families. I know a few Filipino families here in the US who live on the same block as their parents and their sisters. And their children like to walk to their cousin's houses or the grandmother's house anytime that they want. The grandparents even take care of the grandchildren after school while the parents are still at work. In the same way, adult children will take care of their elderly parents and will, would not let them go live in a nursing home. Here in the US, Filipino children who want to move away to another state will often feel guilty for moving away. Sometimes parents are hurt when their children want to go to college far away or when their adult children move far. The closeness of the family unit can also result in resentment. If someone makes you feel guilty when you move away, or if you want to save money you earn rather than spend it on all the other family members. And then someone says, why don't you give your money to your sister? What if you want your wife and you to have privacy in your newlywed home and don't want your dad to move in with you? What if you got into that college that you really wanted to go to and it happens to be far away? And then all of a sudden your grandmother gets sick and your parents need your help taking care of her. Now, remember you have the option to stay and to do what you think is best. But if you're stuck thinking, do what I want to do and have everyone mad at me, do what they expect me to do and feel trapped. Ask yourself, do I love my family? Yes. Does going to college out of state mean that I don't love my family? No. Am I going to college out of state to hurt them? No. What is my actual intention? To go to a good college. Okay, so remember, you have a good intention. Tell your family that this is important to you and it's not intended to hurt them. If they still accuse you of hurting them, remind yourself of your good intention. Understand that it will take them some time to understand. Make some smart decisions for your life, for your best life, and follow them. It will take some grit and a lot of confidence. Confidence in what you know to be smart and good. But you can do it. Remember your good intention and communicate. If you like this video, please, please, please click like and please click subscribe and also share this with your friends that really, really need to hear it. And if you want to learn assertiveness, I made a really great online course for you at thewordwallet.com so you can learn all the tricks to assertive communication. Thank you so much for joining me today. Go out there and speak up, Anak.